Overlord is the newest film in theaters. It's a bad robot production film, and it is a war horror film. It's about these soldiers that are going in on D-Day, and they come across this place that is more than it seems. Um, I'm trying to be very vague because the trailer seemed vague with what you were getting yourself into. Uh, honestly, based on the trailers, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie because it just seemed too silly. Um, especially especially given that hybrid films, it's hard for them to work, especially when it's two totally different genres. But I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised with this film. This film was actually very entertaining. Like, holy cow. I thought it really did a great job blending the horror and the war elements together. The war elements were very visceral, and the horror elements were really like grisly to watch. I mean, especially the body horror sequences. I mean, sure, some of the horror doesn't work, like the jump scares. It's like, uh, uh oh, three, two, one, up, oh, jump scare. But the body horror is really good. It reminded me of like David Cronenberg's work. Really well done. The acting is also top notch. Um, you'll notice some actors and you'll be like, oh yeah, that's the person from, uh, oh, Mother. Oh, uh, he's from uh, that episode of Black Mirror, the, the creepy episode. It's like, oh wait, which creepy episode of Black Mirror? So it's just, there's a lot of actors in this film where they're B-list actors. You know, they're not A-list, not even close yet. But they all do a great job with what they're given. And I especially liked how you got to know these characters. And some of them, yes, did feel a bit cliche, but it still worked with what the film was trying to do. And that goes to Billy Ray's script. Uh, he is the writer. He did Captain Phillips. And it makes sense because Captain Phillips was very intense. And that film was great, but it had a slow buildup. And this film also has a slow buildup. But as it gets moving, it really, really gets intense. And it's great to watch. As far as flaws go, I would say my only flaw is that it does take a little bit to get going. Um, you also have to be in a certain mood for a war horror hybrid because, again, um, it's two genres you think wouldn't work, but they do work. Um, but nonetheless, I, I give this film props because it is not setting up for a sequel. There could be a sequel, but it's not setting up for a sequel the way a lot of films do. A lot of films, it's like the type of thing where it's not even a film. It's like an advertisement for the sequel. But this film actually stands on its own and it is really entertaining and from a cinematography standpoint based on the trailer i was like eh, but it's solid and then it gets better in the end there's a long take scene that may or may not have been one long take but it certainly looks like it and it was very impressive because in the long take there was explosions going off gunfire and it was really good i was like Oh my goodness. So technically speaking, it is good. It's a blockbuster that it's not mind-blowingly smart, but it is a film that is a good time and it's really entertaining. And I have to say, it's mind-blowing that a film like this actually worked versus all these other movies that I've either given a three out of five or less that have been either disappointing or just passable. And Overlord is actually a film that surpasses that in terms of blockbuster terms. My mind's blown. Overlord, honestly, for me, guys, will be getting a 4.25 out of 5 star rating, which is close to my Tabasco rating, but it still gets the Louisiana's Pure Crystal Hot Sauce, which is still a really good rating for me. So, uh, Overlord, guys, um, did you enjoy the horror war film aspect? Uh, were you left a little disappointed? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And again, this was a non-spoiler review. There are obviously things I could talk about in depth, uh, such as the messages and everything. But, you know, I do non-spoiler reviews. My reviews are specifically just so you as viewers can go out and actually experience the film. But, you know, if you do have any questions about the plot or, you know, any technical aspects, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, get you guys.